No matter how often you play the guitar, it hurts every time at the fingertips and the string that ripped was like a rubber band hitting my hand super hard, but other than that, the studio is a super safe place. Good morning guys, I had maybe 30 minutes of sleep, I'm super super tired and usually I would wonder why there is a bottle of wine in the bathroom but since I'm doing the vlog I exactly know why. And no, I'm not taking a dump, I'm just sitting because my head is still spinning a bit. A little bit of coffee should definitely help. You probably all know these days where you promise yourself never drinking again. Today is one of those days. It doesn't taste as good when you just brush your teeth. Usually on days like this I would stay at home, cure my hangover and do a hangover story time. But it's Monday morning and I don't care how I feel. I want to go to the studio and get some work done. Of course it's raining and of course I have to run for my tram. Fresh air is really helping me and on my way to the studio I've just seen four people drinking already beer Monday morning. This kind of cheers me up. Some people are way more messed up than myself. This first half of the day I'm doing mastering for friends and I should really stop saying that in the vlog. Every time I'm saying that more people contact me and ask me if I could master their tracks. I'm not really a big fan of mastering, I'm not really trained to do it, I don't really have the studio for mastering and it's also mostly the technical part of making music and I'm more interested in the creative part of making my own music. Although we can all agree that the technical side of making music is as important as the melodic side if you have a really nice melody but the track just doesn't really sound fat, nobody will play it in the club. And if you have a track that has a really poor melody but sounds super good, I think people will still maybe play it more likely than having a good melody. I'd say electronic music is, is probably the most technical music that is out there. And that's probably the main reason why you have a lot of people that actually don't have any musical background making electronic music. Sometimes this turns out to really bad tracks where the key and the melodies, everything is just wrong. And sometimes it turns out to tracks that are super interesting. Something a musician would never do, but somebody that doesn't really know it, doesn't really follow the rules, makes maybe something that is more interesting than just sticking to what is known and has proved itself. Okay, enough talking. I'm just trying to avoid to do the mastering. I don't really want to do it, but it has to be done. There's one thing I hate even more about mastering and that is the feedback from the people. They usually want the track to be louder and have more bass. I try to explain them in a nice way that it's good as it is and it doesn't need any more loudness. They insist on it, I'm just doing whatever they want. That's one thing I've learned as a ghost producer. Just make what the people want, don't argue too much with them. At the end it's their name on the track and if they like it with way too much bass and way too loud so that it starts distorting, I'm fine with that. I'm now meeting the management, at least one of the guys. There are actually four people I work with closely. One of them is today in Düsseldorf. We have to discuss a couple of general things and you will maybe get to know the rest of the guys when I'm in Berlin, probably at the beginning of next year. If I'm getting sick in the next couple of days, it's because of the tram ride. There were so many people coughing in it. I'm now at the main train station and it seems like Christmas has already started. Hi. I'm back from the business meeting. It went really great. It's always awesome to talk to other people that are so passionate about music. We just planned a bit what to do with the next releases and also talked a bit about the remix contest. I'm still not sure when it will take place, but we agreed 
to plan everything that has to do with it at the beginning of next year. I'm also having again some problems with the camera. It doesn't really focus anymore really good and the screen isn't working all the time and sometimes it doesn't flip the picture on the screen when I flip the screen and sometimes it just doesn't turn on entirely. I don't know what happened. I didn't drop it this time but I think it's time to get a new one. I'm not sure if I will get exactly the same. This is, I think, camera number five. I searched online for another camera. Still not really sure which one to get. There are just way too many options. Maybe you have an idea for a good vlogging camera that has a flip out screen, a mic input, and maybe even an interchangeable lens and it's not too expensive. I found one that might also solve the audio problems I'm having with this camera. This camera just has an internal mic and it's quite noisy. I don't know why but I'm guessing there's some built-in gain thing that just pulls everything up. And especially here in the studio where it's just super silent it pushes all of the noise just up but there's not really much i can do this camera just doesn't have a mic jack although i was so tired this morning i came here to the studio to make music and so far i've been mastering i went to a meeting and checked for a new camera so it's really about time to get started with music. As you know, my Not Scared track is all done, so there's nothing left than just opening another Logic project and start with a new track from scratch. Every time I start a new track, I either start with the drums just to have something to play to, or I just start with the chord progression and start writing a song and then worry about sound design, arrangement, EQing and all the technical stuff. So I think on this one I will just start with the chords. I've played around a bit but these are the chords that I want to base the entire track on. I've played in more chords, these are actually the same, just played in another rhythm and I already gave them a synthy sound to put underneath of the piano just to have something that gives it a bit more groove. And the best part is you can open the cutoff of the synthy right underneath the piano. I think with that I already got a really nice break part that just transitions nicely into a drop that could come right after these chords. I've made a very simple drum groove with Geist. I just used samples that I used on another track that I didn't quite like at the end but the drums were cool. These are the chord steps. I've just used the same sound as on the Not Scared track just for now to just have something. I think so far this is working. The chords in the beat part relate to the chords in the break part. I have this nice transition with the automated cutoff of the synthy sound. And now it's actually time to play in a main melody and I think I will use on this one uh, electronic guitar sound. I'm not the best piano or guitar player, I never had really lessons so I try my best and the good thing about Logic is you can correct most of the mistakes you make or you just play it in a lot until it's perfect. On this track I'm trying to go for something that is a bit more melancholic in the break part and something that is really catchy in the beat part where I've played the chord steps. Ouch! I just ripped a string apart. I don't know if you can see it, but it's loose. The guitar is missing one. Luckily I got everything recorded. I was just doing some effect sounds at the end and I think I hit it way too hard to get this cool effect with having guitar rig on top of the guitar with a lot of delay and strange effects. 
but the effects are not so important. I got the main melody. So let me play you all of the parts that I have at the moment. This right here could be the verse part. <laughs> I've also added some strings just to make it more intense and more melancholic. This part right here could be a chorus. I've added a little break to emphasize more the drop. I didn't have a bass yet, I just copied down the root notes of the chords here in the beat part and the verse and chorus, they don't get any bass. I basically have here all of the melodic elements necessary for a track. This is the first step when you make one. If you get this right, everything else will be easier. This is the foundation of every song, the sound design, the mixing, mastering, the arrangement, everything else depends on these parts if you get them right you will have the chance of making a really good track. I'm so far super happy with what I have. I've just written a song in a couple of hours. It's now actually already 9.30 in the evening. I could now just go home, but there is nobody. So I would just stay here, maybe work a bit, maybe just take a nap. I'm still super tired, didn't really sleep a whole lot. She just sent me pictures from her vacations in the Dominican Republic. Looks super nice. I wish I could be there with her. I probably shouldn't show you this one. That's that's not for YouTube.